Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, did take Tuesday off. Kind of feel like I should apologize for that already. Just feeling kind of shitty. I just kind of sat in bed and played Borderlands 3 all day. Fucking amazing. And I'm really looking forward to playing that with Megan on the Dream Team at some point soon. Is next week we're supposed to be playing that? I think it's still Far Cry this Friday. But today, I'm doing the first Steamathon, which I've realized there might be a slight lore and now I was planning on doing this because using a random number generator to pick out one of the 214 games I haven't played on my Steam library also means I have to sit and install them which is great until you know I end up with a game like I don't know Doom that might take several hours to install so I might just have to pick whatever's closest on the random number generator and then the next stream pre-install like a selection and choose between those just to like avoid this but that's what this warm-up week is for you know it's figuring out the flaws and the plans and then adapting those so they work a lot better for the next time when we're actually doing this properly next week hopefully um also a quick apology before we get into much more i am having to leave my windows open behind me today because my room is fucking boiling and i don't really want to boil to death you know? that would kind of suck especially live on the internet. So, let's get into this. I was originally trying to get the random number generator to appear on the screen that you guys are seeing right now, but unfortunately, Studio, OBS Studio, just doesn't seem to want to do that or work with me at all in getting that to work. So instead, what we're going with is I'm generating a number, you guys can't see it, and then we'll just go from there. In future, I'm hoping to actually get it to come up on screen. Apparently, we're getting number two, which is fun. I have no idea what number two is on this. Bionic Doos. Um, let's even fucking find this. Oh, there it is. Yeah, apparently, it should take a minute and a half to install. Perfect. Brilliant game to open with. Just an instant install. Um, I have no idea what this game is. I must have owned it for quite some time, because it came out in 2013. I have literally no idea what this is. It looks very top-down. It's a roguelike strategy, turn-based RPG indie game, apparently. I mean, I can definitely tell. I have no idea what's going on in this game. This should be a fun opening stream. <laughs> this is definitely not my usual type of game. That's what this is all about, it's finding just weird crap that's in my Steam library. So I'm gonna boot this up, and we shall see. Well, first of all, we'll see how well it alt tabs, because we're gonna have to tab out to like set it to be the stream game. So that should be a fun experience. I've got my uh, desktop audio set up to just like a generalized level, so hopefully things aren't louder than me, but if it's too quiet, some assistance in that area would be just to know. Well, this one's kind of loud, huh? expecting the full-on like lyrical opening right I'll be honest pause the actual music I have playing I drive very hard not to sneeze <laughs> go 
gotta be honest. I don't think it likes me tapping out. Oh. <sighs> Do apologize. It's got like full on credits coming up the side too. Just not expecting this game to have like a full on soundtrack looking at it, Jesus. Alright, okay. Let's get down to this. You're just going to click to change which exos and commanders you're playing with. It's your first time hearing. Okay, cool. This is kind of like, um, crap, I don't remember the name of it. There's another game where you control like a group of mechs and you choose between the different characters and stuff. And, ah, crap, one second. But yeah, I think I've been playing it on uh, Origin quite a bit. That's kind of fun. I just need to actually set the category. If it even has a category, it does. Ah, you have just update information there. Oh, hopefully that's updated for everybody to see. Right, so, let's go on with this. Yeah, I've played another game kind of like this on Origin, which is all like top-down, a bit more pixel-y. Difficulty normal? No, I'm not putting on Iron Man. Um, you know what? I'm just going to give this a go, and we'll figure it Saints out. Saints under attack by bot forces. Just launched a surprise bombing run against our main hangars. Destroyed all our exos save for the four you had with you on the training grounds. You're practically still a trainee, but you're the last exo pilot we have. Our intel says you've got 50 days before the bots attack our headquarters in mass. Weaken them and strengthen yourself before that time comes, and then be prepared to fight them off our doorstep. If you fail, and failure's likely, then our friendly corporate owners will invoke their amputation clause. In other words, they'll nuke the city to keep the bot rebellion from spreading. You know well as I do that evacuation is impossible. The other cities are just as full as this one, and even the shelters are overflowing with the needy. You've got 12 million lives in your hands, including mine and your own, so get to it. All right, Texan Geralt, I will. Um, I need to turn down the audio volume, Jesus. In 50 days each mission will take one day, bringing you closer to the final battle. Each mission has consequences. You'll put your exos or weaken the enemy in the final battle. You can take up to 50 missions in any order, and then the robots attack. Robot Command Center take five days off the clock instead of one, allowing you to provoke the final confrontation in as little as 30 days if you're doing well. This and now, don't worry too much about the final battle. We'll tell you more about once you've the mission. Okay, so this is... Very much the tutorial section. Also, can I just please turn down X and Geralt because he is fucking loud. Customize? Jeez, this is really tiny. I think I might need to change the resolution of this because I can barely see anything. I have no idea what you guys can see. Okay, so you can just equip crap. If it's slope left click to slot to install. Um now I missed a minute, it consumes ten power plus fifteen regen. Is that supposed to be regen? Or did I just 
Fuck that frenzy. <laughs> All propulsion related stats. Hacking points per mission. 36 max shields. I mean, that seems pretty good. Uh, yeah. Can I just alter the resolution? I have to manually input resolution? I yeah, just stick it on HD. Sure that'll Look at that. It's just a tiny ass window for you guys now. There we go. We're getting there, eventually. Alright, look, for the start mission, can I, like, drag the map around at all? Oh, okay, it's like Sims, you have to nudge it around. Destroy the robots here to clear the blockade. If you fail, they'll reinforce back to full strength. This should be a very easy one. It'll still take a day to complete. It's barely any loot here. Okay. These have science state inside. That gives you high quality computer parts. Let's get part lab. Buy so many parts. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go this way because this is like filled with crap. So I assume this is like a good way to go. Yeah, I feel like blockade's probably a good way to go. Learn as a single action, take one step, shoot one, shoot it. Go slow during fights, hang back and let the enemy come to you. Use narrow places, use your whistle ability to draw out. Stealth game? Your four exos and active, which gun are you using? Sidebar and the hotkey 69, 1 to 5, and your keyboard respectively. Special abilities such as stealth can be activated through the side panel. Which gun are you using by the left side by all the hotkeys 69 and 1 to 5 of your keyboards respectively? <laughs> hey, that's just a weird way of wording that, I feel. Let's reject the mission icon on the bottom left. These just, yeah, okay, finish the touch. Finishing touch, any mission. Find the warp pad and get your exos out of here. Okay. It's all about escaping. Okay, this feels kind of like, um, do I get to like deploy my guys then? Worst to move right click to attack, hold shift to ground fire, mouse wheel to zoom, arrow keys to... Okay. Um, I'm not really sure how I, like, do anything, even from reading the thing. Where am I? Am I this guy? Because I can't select him. Oh, I see, I can move him. Yeah, that is me. Well, and still prevent enemies from seeing you all. Good. Firing to play mines or to play in sentries will break your stealth, except for ninja X. So you can maintain stealth a certain number of actions total per mission. Stealth recharge is completed between missions. Okay, that's my basic weapon. Then I have a light machine gun and a grenade launcher. So I assume I have to move closer to this boy over here and blow him up. Did he run into mines? How do I this? Um, 
quick. Hacking costs one. Wait, so do I swap them using... Okay, and he has a hack ability. Destroy all the robots here. Oh, okay, so I assume I have to move through these areas because he's a... Edge of unexplored space, but... Explosive runes? Cover that blocks line of sight. Or do I need to swap to that guy? Um... I have no clue how can this summon make what is monkey? Monkeys! Right, okay. Who's the other one? Back that you kill anyone's poisoned. It currently has nine hacking points remaining, and this terminal will cost one point to hack. I'll do that. Did it do anything? Oh, okay. It disables movement of all bots in the sensor room. Fuel tank robot army. Self destruction. Yeah, that seems bad. Blow up a bunch of shit and almost deafen me too. Mirror things between runes. Okay, you can use them to teleport explosive damage? That's kind of interesting. Oh, there are a few up here, huh? Eagle bolts, apparently. Also, a dumb bot. <laughs> Is the mission exit. But there's other dumb robots around. Oh, no, hack. Yep. Drains all stealth points from Exo. Are from me or them? This is laser range. Ah, you're in range. Okay, <laughs> those things blow up big, huh? I actually you like the music in this game. I mean, you can hack doors open too. Oh, fuck, but who's the hack? Apparently, my stealth boy took damage. Oh, I see. Hacking the thing, like, made his stealth thing go off. Right. 
But hacking stuff isn't necessarily good. kind of enjoying this game. This is just kind of a weird out of nowhere thing. I didn't even know I owned. Also I'm running out of laser ammo. I didn't realize that I had ammo. My siege bot has a light machine gun so I guess I'll use that instead. So they're on the other side of a wall. Good. Um. Okay, to attack, hold shift to ground fire. Oh, he's just out of range. Jesus! Um... <laughs> These boys hit hard, huh? I am now kind of out of ammo though. What's Ninja Bot have? Do you have guns? He has a welding laser. That's 300 attack. Okay, swapping robots does actually aggro shit. Okay, cool. Good to know. Oh, hey, Mugs. I didn't realize you joined. Was it on your own exit being caught in the blast? Okay, it has a, like... Hmm. I'll walk away. And I'm done. He has like no ammo though. He has a light machine gun. Which is terrible. <laughs> How is your day going then, Mugs? Um, this is Bionic Doos, which is just a random ass game I picked off my Steam library for this stream. It's a turn based roguelike strategy game, which I feel like I'm already doing pretty badly at, but you know, first try. I wasn't expecting to be good at it. Just... Oh yeah, there's also Texan Garrett in this. He's like your commander guy who keeps talking to you. He's great. And I got a bunch of crap. Mark II surprising sentry turret, a Mark III hot rod auxiliary reactor, and a mine layer of guarding. I don't know what any of this means.
And also the game seems to have surprising variety in its soundtrack that's pretty nice, actually. These are all my new fancy things. Hey, I have a grenade launcher. Projectile weapon, snare effect, projectile, energy. It's in computer. I feel like making this boy as tough as possible would be a good idea at this point. Yeah, I'm not really sure how any of this works. Well, there seems to be a whole, like, emphasis on stealth stuff as well, like sneaking around and luring people into different places and blowing up mines and things. It's really cool. Oh, the computer slots are there, right? Plus eight mines plus one century turret plus three turrets plus four mines. I feel like my stealth robot might be good for that. I'm putting on the ninja boy. Now I've also got science bot. We definitely need that extra hacking. So I have shooty boy, I have tanky boy, I have stealth, and then I have smart boy. Apparently they don't die between missions, which I was kind of expecting them to. to be honest. I'm also apparently playing as someone called Meg, so something I was unaware of. Jesus, there's like a flood mission log and shit as well. There is a lot to this game. I was not expecting as much at all. Capture some high quality computer parts. Okay. That's a robot. Kind of a fan of the dialogue in this game. Fun. Wait, I can't tell. Is that a robot or something to teleport? That's a robot.
Hey. <laughs> Well, it's just Science Boy left <laughs> to fight the army. No, not this way. It's all part of my plan. Jesus, there are a lot of them. I don't guess I could go up, but they're all just going to follow me now because I know where I am. bot it was that just blew everyone up in like two hits. I think it might have been one of them. I don't know what it is. I just lasered its pieces, so it'll sit over here, right? The silence bot. Well, that's terrifying. Where am I going? Wait, left turn. Ah, stupid GPS. This is defective. Zero idea what it is I'm looking. Fix up your exo and get you back out on another mission. Why don't you check out the scout intel and see where you want to head next? Okay, Texan girl. I'll go somewhere else. Jesus. <laughs> That felt like a giant step up from the last mission where I was just destroying everything. People just do another one of these blockade things? Because that seems a lot less intense, I'll be honest. I think all of these missions are literally just kill all the robots. But like that science lab one seems just mental. Gaffer bot. Okay. That'll do. Okay, siege bot. Pretty fun. There's definitely another robot back there. Then. There's the X. One back there. A blaster bot. Maybe that's the things I should be using the like pistols on. Science bot then. Just shoot that open, apparently. Okay. I thought it was after we were gonna be like all stealthy and like lock 
pick my way through, but no, apparently. Apparently not. And if I remember correctly, the way these things work is that I can shoot this one and it should carry it all the way through. I can just hit both of them anyway. Ow. No good, the random people doing things in their garden. Has So Siegebot's dead. That was a hell of an explosion he set off. Oh my god, I don't think there's any way I don't share his fate if I try and blow up this thing. Is that the furthest way I can be? These, those explosions are loud even on low volume. Oh, I just... Just opens. <laughs> oh, I've lost Siege Bot, I can't just blow up the room. And to be fair, I still might be able to if I just back up a bit and just machine gun the mines. Oh, they don't blow up. Pretty sure I just bullied that robot to them. So there's this giant ass wall. False wall. Impassable until it's blown to bits. But I can't target it. And I don't have my explosives guy anymore. Blow up. Locked door. Simply walk into it to hack it. Large loot container. Mark 2 hacker of surprises. I'm not fire pistol due to system damage. I was EMP'd. By what? The door? An ammo extender of destruction. There we go. That's ah, probably one in that little gap. Hmm? Maybe not? Oh, there's a whole, like, other room. Yeah, there we go. Covered in explosive rooms and really helpful to have an explosive bot. Intel just came in. Why don't you take a look and figure out where you'd like to get to next? <laughs> What's that voice acting? 
Beautiful. CPU Oja Chalver of Energy. Yep, good job English though. Increase ammo capacity. How's that good? It's in weapons. Okay. Watch pick that in the thing. Got loads of stuff for the uh the guy. Oh, it goes in the reactor. Yeah. Where's my stuff? Ninja science. That's the one. Um all computer related stats. Get that there. Nice to power needed by parts in the same system. And that seems great. I don't know what the propulsion stuff is for. I'll be honest, I don't know if that's just movement. Propulsion related. Oh, that's stealth. Right, so Ninja should be the one with all the proportions. Yeah. From that to... I guess... 12 stealth actions. Useful. Um... Stay another blockade. I will be right back. No. That worked. Hmm. Those rockets are pretty good. It's all part of my plan. Oh. I can't hit both of them with rockets though. And rockets have got left five. I die. I'll take them all out before they can even see me. This guy has grenades, I just haven't been using either. Greatly increased fire part. Okay. See, these are not like as wide reaching as the rocket. Makes sense. Still as powerful, though. Just like a mini rocket. What are you? Cannon bot. Powerful siege bot and almost cowardly. Using to move for attack unless another bot is next to okay. Aid launcher him from round here. Although there are explosive I'm kinda curious how these actually 
Okay, they don't project through each other. Which is what I thought they did. Well, they do. And it destroys the room. We can just shoot him. Why was I programmed to feel pain? I the dialogue of this game. It feels kind of self aware of it. I don't know, I don't want to call it like pretty, but I guess like, the setting and theme of it. It's a robot in that room. So it's a spider between the two. Probably more in the next. But they have stealth now too. I have no way of detecting. Why can't I fire them? I'm in range. I'll fire it. Surprise! <laughs> that actually made me jump. <laughs> Science boy died. Cool. That was like almost instant. Hack the computer and they exploded. The last guy then. Oh, there's a sealed room up the top. That or he's invisible. Can I not shoot it? I don't have an EXO with a hacking ability. So shoot it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to grenade it, I guess. Alright, we can't target it with a grenade? How do I get through it then? Also, I haven't been using these abilities because I can like stealth around and deploy turrets and shit. Well, there we go, I can just shift and target the door. Or not? Door indestructible? Apparently. I have no way of getting through them, so I just have to leave. Yep. Very nice. Let's see if we can okay. end this little winning streak of yours. A rogue with no points in subtlety. I just got three achievements. Slave reactor of penny pinching. Miserous hacker and hacker of improbability. I mean, so far the hacking has literally just killed my science spot nine times out of ten. I'm not particularly sure it's a good plan. React? Oh, we're almost at max power usage. <laughs> There we go. I've got a crap lot of power in the This guy is some mines and stuff? Seems good. Uh, I feel like Siege might need some upgrades at some point, because he's got um. So maybe giving one of my other guys hacking points would be good.
you. I'll give him the, the hacking one. Thanks to someone else who can hack, just in case I run out of computer guys again. Um, right. Just a building in the clutch of the deadly metabot. Metabot holes. Far too strong for your weapons to break, so you'll need to find the large command computer in the early to shut them down and win the mission. Run fast. Okay. Destroy the energy reactor in the to win the mission. I kind of just want more murder robots. Let's do the parts lab. Okay, now I've got mines and grenade launchers and sentry turrets and shit. Maybe he's there just change facing without me. Ah. That's useful. Why is he like pointing at the wall? He does do his job though. Sentry bot is good. Now he's kind of in the way then. Can I like pick him back up? Parts back. What's captured the pot? Okay, it just tells me my objective. Do I have to break him now though? I think I might have actually screwed myself because I don't think I can pick him back up. Sorry, Sentry Book. How did I not see that? I got open. What's over here? What was I doing again? I got open. Ouch. <laughs> what is the point of those robots? They can't do anything if they're shot. Seems like a pretty big flaw. It's a trap. Can I shoot over? Cover? Wait, I could for a second. So now I can hit literally all of them. Siege bot's powerful. These things, Thunderbolts, snipers of particular hatred for any color her enemies might show any cover her enemies might demonstrates this explosively. Sounds. Got it. You blow everything up. Including each other. Also, stand behind it when it moves. Oh, don't stand behind it. I'm just going all out with the rockets.
am now out of rockets. Oh, that's a sniper bot, right? Oh no, it's a tiger. Uh. Oh, siege bot's dead. Does it deploy? This appears to be working. I'd run away and shoot things with a laser. Didn't need all these mines, turns out. Wielder of the legendary pistol of uselessness. Unfortunately, ability to inspire bots around him, giving them a permanent bonus for their attack strength. Kill him first. Got it. Well, that's a few. <laughs> this room is just filled with cover. Like, all the way to the end. His laser weapon just gets taken out by everything. Oh, there's secondary leaderboards and stuff. I think I might be fucked. <laughs> oh, I'm still stealthed, am I? Hey, that could have been... Oh, my gun's broken again. happening in there. <laughs> I can't stealth. This would 
be stealthed open? Oh, it can be shot. Probably didn't want to shoot it though, because this room is filled with enemies. Apparently. And his stealth is now broken. Of course it is. Fuck's sake. Why was I programmed to feel pain? Guards, systems offline. Not like this. There's a whole other room behind them. What is this? Oh, get down it. Cautious. You find yourself running straight into enemy fire. You're wrong. I have no idea what you just said, Daryl. Uh, basically not. Um, I'm trying to work out something. Game of Pierce was just opened as a black window now. So I think I might have broken it. Again. Let's hope it has a way to save, because otherwise there might be an issue. But it always saves. Auto save pre mission. I guess that one. I have no idea how far back this is. Oh, it was before I even attempted the part back. So I guess we get a redo? Although I... I think I've lost some of my stuff as well. Because... Oh no, it's there. Never mind. Okay. Oh, Let's try Pot Lab again. It's a bot, it's just, it's lonely. Poor Rover. Oh. I'm afraid to be 
by myself. Why I'm afraid to be by myself. I'm kind of bad killing those ones. Don't want to be on their own. I say as I continue to just mercilessly laser its death. I mean, one of us has got to win. Command bot rods and inspiring boosted shields. It's just a pain in the What the f happened over there? <laughs> Notice there's a robot and he just instantly blew up. Ninja with a shotgun. Optical dampeners that reduce your line of sight more and more the closer he gets to you. Sounds like a dick. Stealth grenades. Oh. I'll see how much health he has. Getting the hang of this bit more now, like actually using my corners and just. Cannonbot can actually fire, that's a problem. Now he can't. Artillery coolant tanks of the tower. I love the really dumb, like, RPG names everything has in this game. Science boy, yeah. he has lasers. So. Oh, loot. Really? 
Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Save that rocket. And that's with the sentry. That works pretty well. Maybe I don't need the rocket. Sniper bots. Might be a bit late this week. This one. I feel like this is going a lot better than it did the first time around. Everyone didn't just instantly die. Pretty good start. Okay, and there's the objective. Guarded by a ninja and a cannonball. So you stay yeah. Cool. Focus on either making yourself stronger or the bots weaker. When that bot army finishes massing an attack, it needs to be your strength against their weakness. Yes, knock off Carol, I agree. A lot of loot. Yeah, I'll let him slowly. Got a nice mulligan because of a alt tab crash. That seems pretty good. What do I currently have on the computer? Eight mines in the sentry turret. The sentry turret is more useful. Increased shields. Pretty big. It goes in the reactor. Lose censure. My shield would get out of the way. Can I just take things out then? Oh, you can just swap them. Can you get the other one back? Oh, that's cool. Let's do trap skill level. Damage would pretty good. 20 power, more reactors. I don't know if it's in weapons proportion, shields, and computers. Reduces power. No. This one. But a lower version of the same thing. Um, um, 
Using computer and reactor. Space for. Give me extra stats. Um, not for everyone else, Siege. Um, let's give you an extra shield. Uh, In computer. Oh, has it changed up anywhere it is? I don't know. I get propulsion for no one. This now. I was really not expecting to. Get that one to. Computer and reactor. 120 power. Computer. I'm just gonna put that in a reactor. That gives me a bunch of. Then make the boss and then refabricate machines in the factory floor. Each one you just reduce the level. Random final battle bots by one. You better, most bots will not level up at the end of the day if you manage to win this mission by destroying fabric. Ah. Sure, let's try this one. Fabricator. I should set up a sentry. Yeah. Oh, wow, those things have a lot of health though. You just laser that while he's making his way around. Got a lot of them down. Pull them back into here. Beautiful. Also an exit point. Ah oh, crap, he can see my thing. I can't. Seven was part of war. Yeah, there's five more fabricators. Sleeping, you really don't want to wake him up. If you do, all his friends will follow. That sounds. Hmm. 
It's a pretty heavy sleeper, I just blew up the room next door and it seems to be perfectly fine. I'm noticing my cursor is like permanently on the screen now, which I don't think it was before. <laughs> Oops. It's a trackball. Rockets a siege. Oh, okay, that's all. I don't think there's any way I can avoid waking that one up, is there? I don't want to hit that. Those are Thunderbolts, so that's a problem. But they're now all awake. Why did he blow up? What? <laughs> didn't swap when I tried to swap characters. Oh, even the tripods down here work. Up. Treadbots instantly blow them up. This is going to go terrible. Sniper range. It's oh, a few. Also, my mouse is like freaking out. Yeah, I already uh, goofed something up real bad. I'm out of rocket. No distance, so short. <laughs> Wasn't an exit. I 
change the direction of that. Absorb this kind of loss. Every time you <sighs> fail, bots will retaliate on our HQ. Well, that was a resounding defeat of me just getting pummeled in a corner, but it's that, that. <laughs> Think on that terrible bombshell. I will uh, finish playing this game. Just save over that, sure. Yeah. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching. What was me terribly playing a strategy game? It's kind of fun. Something new, I guess. Might actually play the other one that I kind of like that's on Origin. Kind of the same thing, but it's got like a nicer art style. It's all kind of like top down, isometric style stuff. There's a lot of different bots in that that used to like push things in different ways and set up other attacks. Well, that should be fun. Anyway. You've got an ad. Fortunate. I will see you guys, uh, I believe, tomorrow for. <laughs> you got the Gemini man out of it. Beautiful. I'll let you finish that. You back? Is your ad finished? Yeah, tomorrow. Most of the dreams team streams, if I can actually speak, that'd be helpful. With uh what, Far Cry Friday? It's Friday. So we're doing Borderlands next week. But I've already probably played too much Borderlands. But it's, it's a fucking good game. Far Cry Friday, yeah. Good. So, um, I'll see you guys next time.